He grunted. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. That might be him. That might be him. That might be him. Play him easy, buddy. What's going on happy people welcome back to another video we are out here today with a squad i mean dude we have got a straight up team today uh we've got a, a father son thing going on i got my boy wade his son caleb it's caleb's birthday today my buddy captain scott zentz his knucklehead son back here jeff y'all might hear me screaming at jeff in the video me and jeff talk <laughs> a lot of trash uh it's I, I don't know what it is there's something about us dude we but uh and my boy captain jake wise behind the camera today he doesn't he still doesn't want to be in front of the camera but i want to put that out there for those of you that know us that don't follow us on instagram or facebook jake just passed his captain's test um so we're very excited about that but anyways today as you can see there's no mangroves around us we're not at the boat ramp we are on a hog hunt and i know this may not look like an area that you would hunt hogs but for us for saltwater guys this is where we hunt hogs so basically today we're looking for hogfish, hog snapper. We are uh, we're about eight to nine miles off of St. Pete Beach and uh, 45 feet of water. Real simple setups, dropping down. We're trying to fill a cooler today, and I'm not going to bore you guys with a super long intro. So you boys ready to get at it? We may yes, do. We uh, what is it? Uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube. I've always watched a lot of YouTube. So a two v two v two, father son. Yes, sir. Nah, man, somebody might get thrown in. Hey, come on, man. It I'm might get sure. ugly. So, all, father, so all right, guys, here. we appreciate you guys watching. We're fixing to drop down. Let's see if there's anything living on the bottom. There you go, Wade. Yeah, they're trying to try to be sneaky. <laughs> oh, that one's shaking a little bit, dude. That might be a porgy or a. Eh, it might be a little hog. Another trigger. Uh, all right, guys. So, we. Uh, I said competition. And as soon as I said something about competition, <laughs> these other jokers were were dropping. So we uh, it took us a minute. Oh, Caleb's got a fish on. It took us a minute to get the camera going, but uh, these guys have already caught. What do we got? We got grunts, porgies, triggers. Me and me and Jake, dude, we're just now getting to drop down. That was that was for you guys at on at YouTube land or whatever because we had to get the camera going, but. We got some catching up to do, Jake. Yep. Even Jeff's caught fish. <laughs> you know they're biting, look at him. Look at him, come on Jeff, say something. This kid, honestly guys, this kid has the best comebacks of any kid that I've probably ever met in my life. But you gotta remember with Jake, or with Jeff, if you're gonna dish it out, you better be able to take it because it'll hurt your feelings. He fights dirty. Oh, dude, didn't even feel it. Didn't even feel it. I didn't either. Got swung. I hope y'all brought enough bait. I see a lot of empty hooks coming up. Uh, <laughs> you ain't kidding, man. So we got frozen shrimp, live shrimp. The, the worst thing. Oh, getting hit already. Oh. The worst thing you can do, guys, is come this far. Get everybody out of bed spend all that money and run out of bait uh-oh scott's on oh scott's off boo. boo jake dude we uh we gotta do something here man i'm getting little bites we don't want little bites do something better damn caleb's on again trigger porgy what do we got No, red. little red grouper. A rod tip was shaking. It's alive down there today, dude. All kinds of stuff. A lot of times, a lot of times, man, when you're looking for hogs, dude, you gotta, you know, you gotta get through these grunts and the little tap, tap, taps and 
the triggers have been ferocious. I just keep switching sides to whoever I see is getting a bite. Wade gets a bite, I go over there. Caleb gets a bite, I come back over here. <laughs> That's a pretty advanced technique. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. That was solid, dude. Caleb, I got a feeling today Caleb's going to be the silent killer. The Joker's hooking some fish, man. He just boat He just bowed up on one right there. <laughs> oh, oh, good fish. Good fish taking line. Taking line. There you go, Jake. There you go, Jake. Yeah, we might get a fish in the boat. We need to. Oh. Yeah, y'all y'all just keep back. What do you got, Jake? Is it a hog? It's a red. Oh man, this is the saddest double. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Look at this. Fish in the boat, but that's sad, bro. Look at what I got. I got bait. Does anybody want this guy for bait? <laughs> oh, pretty little fish though, man. Yeah. All right, we're on the board, Jake. Kinda. Kinda. Jake's on the board. I don't know that that counts for me being on the board. Damn, here's Scott. Oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. He grunted. He grunted. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That, that might be him. That might be him. That might be him. Play him easy, buddy. Play him easy, Caleb. Nice. That's oh, fish, nice. You got that net, Scott? Yep. I'm glad I'm not the only one, Wade, catching those six-inch grunts. Maybe our maybe our kids can do better than us. <laughs> big hog, big Swing hog, big hog. Oh, that's a big hog, buddy. Dude. Big hog. Yeah. Big back, hog. Back. My man, congratulations, nice. brother. Nice fish. That's a big hog. Dude. That is a big hog. Wow. Nice. Eating pork tonight, brother. First hog, bro. That's your first one, Caleb? Yep. Congratulations, dude. Sure is. Say something. <laughs> Caleb's shy. Yes, Caleb's shy. We got to get a he picture is, of him, bro. buddy. Let me see that thing, Wade. Nothing, nothing is prettier, dude, than that fish right there. That's a big old male. That's what we're looking for. Jake, you got a fish on? Like that. Yeah, Nothing worth looking at? Look at that, guys. That is beautiful. That is that has got to be, to me, that's one of the prettiest fish out here, man. That's a beautiful fish, Caleb. Congratulations, brother. I told, I, I called it, dude. I said Caleb's going to be the silent killer. Listen to all these, listen to all these instructions, guys. For <laughs> Picture taking is very important as a fisherman. Once you learn how to... <laughs> Once you learn how to tie knots, the next step is to learn how to use the zoom on your camera. <laughs> right here, brother. Look at that. Look at that hog in the box, buddy. Good job, kid. Nice. Good job. All right, so Caleb's got the first hog. Now the goal is to catch one bigger. We got to catch one bigger. That's a stud, though, dude. There's a fish. Feels like a grouper. What do we got? Nope, trigger. Trigger. This is a cool fish here, guys. Check this guy out. I'm sure most of you that watch us have seen these. This is a trigger fish. They're really good to eat, but they're out of season and this one's a little small, but this is, oh, hold on, buddy. Hold on. Let me show you guys real quick why they call them a trigger fish. So you see this top fin, their dorsal fin. If you push on this, it's locked. You can't do anything. Touch this one, everything lays down. So that's their trigger right there. That's why they're called a trigger fish. Push that, locked, nothing. Tap that, pretty cool fish. But like I said, they're out of season and he's small, so he gets to go back. I'm just happy I caught a fish. Uh-oh. I'm talking trash to him and Jeff just got thumped. It's usually what happens. Look at Jake. Oh, Jake was torn off. On the vertical jig? Yeah, I passed it out a little bit. Well, then it's a horizontal jig. 
<laughs> if you cast sideways, oh. it's no longer a vertical yeah, jig. You gotta go cast it out, and as soon as I reel tight, there's a fish on it. So Jake's horizontal jigging now. I'm telling you. <laughs> It was a good fish? Solid? Solid. Reeled into it and it started falling drag. Grunt. And we're letting these guys go, but these are these are really good fish to eat. I mean, I honestly prefer these. You're gonna think I'm crazy. Somebody's gonna comment something. I prefer these over mangrove snapper. They're just a little bit tougher to clean. They don't have as much meat. Some people call them grunt. If you go on a party boat, they'll tell you you just caught a bunch of gray snapper. Um, we call them Tampa Bay hogfish. And this is why. They got that mouth kind of like a hogfish. It's kind of a knockoff. Got to be in the same family. But we're going to let him go. Better fish. Mega grunt, maybe? Mega grunt. Oh, daddy grunt. Mangrove. Wow, nice mangrove. Keeper. All right, Jake. I'm going to have to do it myself, I guess, dude. Oh, yeah, Scott's got a good fish on. There he is. Yeah, you think? He's I digging. I don't know. He's, Might be a red grouper. Oh, 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 Scott might have a hog on. Nice mangrove for the box. Let me throw him in there real quick. Here, let me get that. What you got, buddy? Well, Scott got. He's running out. That might be him, Scott. Let's see if I can keep, see if I can tangle you up real quick. <laughs> Sabotage me. Trigger. 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 Good trigger. Fat. That trigger's been down there eating everybody's shrimp. God, he looks like he's about to pop. I know. <laughs> Feels like he's about to pop. Whoa! Like the one I got. All right. <laughs> Scott's trying the sideways drag. I see you. You see me? Mm-hmm. Keep it on the bottom. Oh, it almost paid off for him. It almost paid off. That old sideways. Mm-hmm. Sideways. Keeps it in contact with the yeah, bottom. Yeah, it does. It moves around a little bit. Yep. Sheephead. Keep her oh, sheephead. Nice. No way. Dad, That's you stay away from that. <laughs> far, far, far away. Scott's not allowed to clean sheephead anymore, guys. He cleaned some last week for a customer. <laughs> let me see your hand, Scott. He cleaned some last week for a customer, and he wound up with seven stitches. So we don't let Scott clean sheephead anymore. <laughs> Oh, there he is. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Keep him up, Caleb. Keep him up, buddy. Take your time. Take it. Hurry, but take your time, Caleb. <laughs> Jake's on. Jake, what do you got? Not a hogfish. I think Caleb might. Caleb's either got a red grouper or a hog. It's fine, uh, fine like a red grouper now. Yeah, it is. Might be a gag. Jake got a keeper grunt. Good, good job, Caleb. That's a decent gag, buddy. Grab him. Got him, brother? Good job, man. Nice. Caleb, the silent killer. I wish that was a scamp. Look how that's a, that'd be a good one. Good job, homie. <clears throat> nice keeper grunt there, Jake. That's what I love about out here, dude. First off, you don't know what you're gonna catch. Secondly, it's just chaos. I mean, there's crap, there's shrimp all over the boat. Everybody's walking them in. I see you, Jake. I know you like to eat fish. Jake keeps sneaking grunts into the cooler. <laughs> Is it? Hey, right kind, dude. Little female. Hold him up. Let me see. Look at Scott. Got a little hog. It's the right kind. Wrong size, but that's a good sign right there, dude. Well, immediately, yeah. Machine gun. Machine gun. Grunt there. What you think, Wade? Call it. I'm going to say small hog. Small hog? 
Oh, he called, it. called it. He called it, dude. Nice. Another female. Yeah, little female. So wait you can tell the difference, guys. Hogfish are I'm trying to think of the right terms because with it be oh there you go scott it's just di different head shapes with it being 2023 20, you got to be careful what you call things but i think they're called hermaphrodites you all right buddy yeah nice porgy no nah, buddy you can let him go i think we got enough for cut bait porgy look at how pretty that fish is dude it's like fishing in an aquarium <laughs> the colors on that joker good job scott porgies are delicious guys there's no limit on porgies no size no no nothing so porgies are to me porgy porgies are a lot like hogfish in flavor they just uh they don't have as much meat on them all right got two little hogs here so we got a fish on here but like we were saying guys that's a female so the females are usually brighter in color and they're smaller um a lot of fish i'm trying to keep my rod out of the way a lot of fish actually change change uh change sex throughout their life got a grunt and hogfish are one of those snook and grouper also do it gag grouper i don't know if all grouper do it i know gag grouper do it but they all turn from male to female where hogfish turn from female to male so it's a a different little fish most of the keepers you're going to get are going to be males and you can tell because they get that big brown stripe over their head and uh, they lose some of those bright vibrant colors but all of a sudden we're on a few hogfish now we just need the man there you go dude that's a hog lots of shaking taking line come on scott a fresh one acting like a hog it's a hog it's a hog pretty fish dude look at that one lit up dude that joker is lit up i've only seen him with two teeth on the top that joker's buck tooth man it's got a mouthful of teeth Oh, yeah, It'll be 14. Cold, I don't know. Oh, I'm gosh, gonna measure him. Yeah, he's, he's close. close. You gotta be 12. 14. There you go. That's acting like another one. You gotta get that size right. You said 14? 14, yeah. Big old grunt. How big was this guy? 13. Good meat with some. There you go. Oh, yeah, baby. That's, That's a good fish right there, dude. Oh, man, That's man. a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish, Caleb. Be aware, Caleb. Jeff's on your net. I don't know what that means, but. Ah, red grouper. Yeah, oh, you dropped that dead pin fish down? <laughs> That's a good one, dude. Let me see that thing. That's a nice one, dude. I'm about to measure him. He's got to be 20. He's getting close. I bet he's 18, 19. He's going to be real close. Get him, Jake. Get him, Jake. That might be a hog. No? Come on, Jake. No, nope, not a hog. Porgy, be a porgy. Grunt. There you go, Jake. Get you a lizard. No, that's not a lizard. Those are big head shakes. Yeah, big dog fish. What is that, man? Big old head shakes. Dog grouper. Jake, what you got, dude? Grouper. Trigger. Trigger. Sheephead. It's a hog. Yeah, it's a decent hog. That one looks like a keeper, maybe. That one might be a keeper, dude. Coming out. I got, oh my god. Oh. That's what happens. I got him. I got him. Flip him in, Jake. I got him. Look at that mess. That's what happens when one guy's getting a bite. 
<laughs> Everybody drops right on top of him. Jake, that might make it, dude. He might make it. He's close. We ever get him out. Go ahead and get the fish off. Oh man. I don't know, Caleb. Uh, my uncle used to tell me that, dude. I catch fish sometimes sitting down. <laughs> he used to tell me all the time. He's like, boy, you ain't gonna catch no fish sitting down. I'm like, damn, why? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Look at that. Nice fish, dude. Nice fish. Jake got us on the board with a hog. Is he going to make it? 13 and three quarters. Pretty fish, though, dude. Pretty fish. Little female. Good job, dude. Scott, what is going on back here, brother? I got us. Uh, yeah, we all got us. Get one bite. How do we drop down the same spot, Jake? Hmm. I catch two lizard fish. Scott catches a mother-in-law fish, and you catch a hogfish. Entangled everyone. Entangled everybody up. Look at that. Oh. All right, guys. So all the batteries died while we were out there. I don't know how this show is going to turn out, but we had a blast. So I guess if I had to say who the winning father-son was, I'd have to give it to Wade and Caleb because Caleb did catch a giant hogfish. Um, we all, well, <laughs> I was gonna say we all <laughs> caught hogfish. I didn't catch a hogfish. I caught a bunch of other stuff, but I didn't catch a hogfish. Everybody else on the boat caught a hogfish. We had a ton today for whatever reason, about that much too short. And, um, but you know, even though Wade and Caleb won, I feel like I didn't lose. And the reason I feel like I didn't lose was because Jeff didn't beat me. <laughs> So, he's in the back seat. He's just, he's still, you know. But, uh, anyways, guys, it was a great day on the water. It was something different. We don't get to do a ton. We're going to start doing it more. We're go and, and we're going to be running near shore trips. So, if you want to book a near shore trip, um, of course, my information will be at the end of the show. And I'm going to add uh, Captain Scott Zentz's information in the description below. I see everybody do that in the description below. So, somewhere, I guess. And, uh, and we'll put all the tackle we use and everything in there too. Also, we're going to do a quick little tackle tip on, on how we rig to target hogfish. And uh, maybe that'll help some of you guys out. So before I hit this car, and, <laughs> and until next time, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. God bless everybody out there, and we'll see you guys on the water.